Today's video is the three best free video editors for Windows in 2021. And really showing you the absolute best without any watermarks, no time limits, and best of all, one is completely beginner friendly. The other one on the list is a bit more advanced. So if you're not new to video editing, this one is great. And it also allows for overlay footage or B-roll. And the final one I'll be talking about here is so robust and includes so many tools and features that people are still wondering why this one is for free, but it is. Also at the end, I've got an honorable mention just in case none of these are suitable for you at present. So I've used all of these video editors that I'm about to mention. Let's dive right in. The first video editor is Windows 10 Video Editor. I think many people still don't know that Windows 10 Video Editor replaced Windows Movie Maker in Windows 10. So if you're using Windows 10, then you will have this free video editor already installed on your device. It is a very basic and easy to use video editing software, but if you're someone who just wants to edit simple videos or photo slideshows, and you don't want anything too fancy or complicated, then this editor will do the job. You have pretty much most of the editing tools available in this video editor that were available in Windows Movie Maker. So you can trim and cut your clips. You can speed up a clip or slow it down. You can add text and customize it. It doesn't come with the ability to add transitions but you can add motion effects to pictures. And you can also add free music from the music library or import your own customized music. It doesn't support PIP, so picture in picture. Basically, you can't add overlay footage on your main edits in this editor, but then you couldn't do that in Movie Maker either. So nothing has changed there. So if you're using Windows 10, which I presume a lot of people are, and you want a very easy to use video editing software to put together simple movie projects, then this is definitely for you. I've made two detailed tutorials about how to use Windows 10 video editor. One is seven minutes long. So if you want a preview about all of its features and see how it looks, then check it out. The other is a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use it. Both videos will be linked in the info box below. The second video editor on the list is Shortcut. Shortcut is an uncomplicated video editor with a nice clean interface. You can see that the makers of this have put a lot of effort into making this easy to use and practical, but it's still very functional at the same time. You can work with 4K video footage. You can do really good color grading and adjustments with this video editor. You can also add overlay footage to your main edits. So you can add multiple tracks if you want. Also, if you don't have the best specs on your computer, so if you don't have a high operating system or graphic card and a good size RAM, then Shortcut is definitely a good video editor to use to avoid lag and other issues while editing. Shortcut is available for all major operating systems, be it Linux, Mac, or Windows. So it is accessible to pretty much everyone. It has no watermark, it's 100% free, and there are plenty beginner tutorials out there for Shortcut. Some of the best I will link down below. So this is a really great video editing software if you've already messed about with Windows Movie Maker or iMovie or even the newer Windows 10 video editor. The next one on the list is DaVinci Resolve. And this video editor is impressive in so many ways. It is hands down my favorite on the list. So again, it is supported by all major operating systems, be it Linux, Mac or Windows. There is no watermark when you export your video. There are no time limits for how long your video can be before it's not free. The great thing about this editor is that you can do pretty much anything you want. For example, 
You can do advanced color correcting and color grading with this software. There is so much versatility when it comes to editing and the tools that are available. You have two pages that are dedicated to video editing alone. One is geared towards people who want to edit faster, while the other editing page has more of a traditional layout and you have the possibility to set an input and output. You can trim, you can cut, you can do a ripple edit, you can zoom in, you can add a variety of textiles and transitions. You can also work with 4K video footage if you want. It has presets for exporting to YouTube if you want to make YouTube videos. So the possibilities are really endless with this video editing software. So DaVinci Resolve reminds me of Premiere Pro when it comes to its robustness and capabilities. Only difference, of course, is that it's free. Amazing, isn't it? There will be a link down below if you're interested in getting this amazing video editor. It is super easy to download. Also, I've made a step-by-step -step beginner's tutorial, which is about 20 minutes long, where I walk you through how to use this software to edit your videos from beginning to end very easily. I will also link that down below and at the end of this video. Okay, so the honorable mention is Windows Movie Maker. I've made several tutorials about how to use Windows Movie Maker, including an updated tutorial in 2021. And there are still many people who love this video editing software, including myself, because it was one of the first free video editors back in the day. And you could make pretty good movies with this editor very easily. It has all of the basic video editing tools like cutting, trimming, title cards, caption, narration, adding your own music, cool transitions, and so on. But I think the best thing about Movie Maker is that it is just so user-friendly and comfortable. That's what I would call it, comfortable. So if you're interested in downloading this classic video editing software onto your device, you can download it on the website simplemoviemaking.com for free. I will link that down below. All right, guys, so these were the three best free video editors for Windows in 2021. If you found this video useful, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.